this is Michelle Earhart from Tom'sHardware.com here with a video supplement for our review of the latest Asus Rob Strix Scar. If you're looking for an RTX 3080 laptop that's geared up for esports excellence and has aesthetics to match, the new Asus Rob Strix Scar 17 G733 might be for you. After all, the ROG Strix Scar line is usually a pretty safe bet for high-end gaming, both single-player and multiplayer. But there's a few changes to the Strix line here, both inside and out, that you should know about before going in. Let's start with the power. This laptop comes with a Ryzen 9 5900HX CPU and an RTX 3080 GPU with a 1545 MHz boost clock and 130 watts of total graphics power. That let it blaze through our benchmarks in games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider and Assassin's Creed Odyssey, hitting an average 92 FPS in the former and an average 72 FPS on the latter. The only other laptop we've tested that beats those scores is the Alienware M17 R4, which costs $600 more than the Strix if you choose similar components. But those are single player games, and of course, the Strix is geared towards esports, which brings us to its big defining features. The first is a 360Hz monitor, which look great in games like Overwatch. Our only complaint is that, while a higher frame rate is always going to look smoother, you're going to have to do some serious fiddling with your settings to hit 360 FPS in even the least demanding games, which means there's not too much of an improvement here over cheaper 300Hz laptops. But it still works great here. The other eSports focused feature here is an optical mechanical keyboard, and here's where you might see a genuine improvement over the competition. This isn't the first laptop we've seen with mechanical switches, but what is new here, even over past Strix models, is a soft touch paint on the palm rest. It sounds like a gimmick, but it makes for a really comfortable experience. Touching it doesn't feel metallic or plasticky, and instead is more like touching the cover of a book. Combine that with 0.2 millisecond response time light triggered switches with a 1.9 millimeter total travel distance and you've got one of the better input experiences you're going to find on a gaming laptop. While you're looking at the keyboard, you're likely to notice the other big change to the Strix this year, which is a new focus on transparent elements in the design. Asus told us here that the goal was to give the laptop a cyberpunky feel, but it reminded me more of a gimmicky old Nintendo 64 controller than anything else. Or maybe a Tamagotchi. Now, I love those gimmicks, but they maybe don't belong in what's otherwise pushing itself as a premium device. To Asus's credit, you can customize the design to your liking a little bit. The laptop has three user swappable end plates for its hinge that gives you some control over how it looks. There's one opaque gray end plate, one transparent gray end plate, and one silvery metallic end plate. The ROG Keystone also returns on this model. This is an odd feature we haven't seen anywhere else, where you can set your laptop to either lock off or enable certain features depending on whether you have the included RFID keystone inserted. This includes being able to set your Windows account to lock on removal or open your game library on insertion. It's an unusual tool, but it helps give you some extra security if you don't quite trust your roommates. If all of that doesn't scream gamer to you enough, when you start up the computer, the ROG logo also briefly shows up on screen and plays a sound that's remarkably similar to unsheathing a katana. Luckily, you can turn this off in the ASUS Armory Crate settings if it gives you a heart attack like it did to me on several occasions during testing. Ultimately, this is a loud and proud gaming laptop that's got plenty of bells and whistles, and wants you to know it. At $3,000, it's priced to match, but it still comes in under other RTX 3080 laptops like the Alienware M17 R4. That laptop costs $3,600 if you choose comparable components. 
True, the Strix we reviewed wasn't quite as powerful as that laptop, but this is still a powerhouse. With that in mind, it's easy to recommend this laptop to people who consider themselves serious gamers and who maybe specialize in competitive games. And while this is still definitely an expensive premium item, it's also a good choice if you don't feel comfortable breaking the $3,000 mark. For more on the ASUS ROG Strix SCAR 17 G733, check out our full written review over on tomshardware.com.